Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's currently raining at the moment. And so I thought this would be the perfect time to sight treat a piece called Rainy Day at Home. This is a piano composition that was sent to me a few weeks ago by Piotr Skelski. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, I'm very sorry. This is a Polish name. So I thought I would record it while it is raining. And so this is what the composer has to say. So the piece is called Rainy Day at Home. It should reflect the rainy day while you are sitting at home under a blanket, drinking tea, enjoying those little plumpings of raindrops. Now I'm not under a blanket or drinking tea, but that's for you to, to do. Go grab a blanket, drink some tea, and maybe it's also raining where you are at the moment. Suddenly the rain grows stronger. You look out of the window and see the lightning in the sky. After a while, the rain stops and the sun comes out of the clouds, giving hope and happiness. I really hope you'll enjoy this piece. Well, I, I will do my best. And here, and there's a few words about him. So his name, I am, he says, I am Peter from Poland. The full name you'll find in the sheet. That's the name I tried to pronounce. I'm 17 and last year I started composing for the piano. Until now I have composed 13 pieces. Nice. But this is the first one that I have composed. Maybe that's why I've got a huge sentiment towards it. Unfortunately I don't have others written on sheets, but I really hope that I'll find the motivation to put them on paper soon enough. Yes, I hope you you do so as well. It does take a bit of time to write down your compositions, but once it's there, once it's on paper, you, you have it for life. So I encourage you to do so. So I'm going to be sight reading the piece. It's about four and a half pages long and it's got one flat, which is not too bad.
I apologize for some of the mistakes there. In the last bar, I just realized that the semiquavers were no longer triplets. They were straight semiquavers. So it should have been a bit slower. It's a very nice piece. It uh, has this nice atmosphere to it. Um, it some of the chords were quite tricky for me because I have small hands. I can reach up to a ninth. Anything wider than a ninth is a struggle for me. So when I had to play those um, tremolos, a ninth I could kind of do, but when it went beyond the ninth, that was a bit of a struggle. Uh, I don't know if you, Peter, if you can reach, but I can't. So I don't know if maybe you just need to play those slower. I don't know what the solution would be to play those properly. Otherwise, very good. Um, so keep up your compositions. Maybe you could do one called Sunny Day at Home to have a contrast. Let's see what you can come up with. Thank you so much for sending your composition. You are very young, so you know you have a lot of time in front of you. Keep it up and yes, please write your music down because it's it's always good to have it there. I don't know how you actually have them. Do you keep them in your mind? Like do you just play them? How are you able to remember them? Or do you have them handwritten and you just don't have them done digitally yet? I don't know. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this piece. I certainly did. And I will see you in the next video. Happy sight reading.